You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's kick off a new year, folks. Got to love it. Let's make it a great one. Cultivate wisdom. You don't have to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 492. NASDAQ is off 212. S&P's off 66. Gold contract up 51 bucks, trading at 1946 an ounce. We have silver up a buck, $27.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 93 cents, $47.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note up two ticks, 138.04. 30 year bond down four ticks at 173.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now down 20 ticks, trading 89.917. The Euro is at 122. The yen is at 103.13, and the British pounds is at 135 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, first, we'll go into the futures. We had uh, quite a sell-off uh, this morning, and this was a one-way route on the way down. And you get some real juice behind it, too. That's the real bottom line. So it's going to be intriguing as to we're coming to the close to see, bottom line, is this baby going to go after its lows once again? Or is it going to be able to get some juice and get over this high that was established approximately, uh, well, it was about 10 minutes or two? So we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, at this particular point, folks, okay, this is about an anemic bounce as you can get. In fact, if we go from the highs to the lows out here today, you're going to see uh, that you're only at a point, a 23 percent bounce inside of the N, I mean, inside of the S and P's. If we go over to the NQs, we take a look at the Nasdaq futures. Same deal. It was a one-way route on the way down. They're getting a little more, bit more of a bounce, uh, and they're going to get challenged right now because. What we have inside of the NQs, and we were just going lower, right before I got on the air, you had a nice little bar come in, and the real question is, is it going to be able to overtake that bar at 2 o'clock? That bar at 2 o'clock uh, is the 676 number. We hit, we're at 659 right now, and the NQs almost did a .382. Uh, bottom line, though, you talk about fast and furious, man. It was, look at some of these stocks. Well, now, Microsoft has been weak anyway, folks, okay? Man, they sold that thing off like wildfire. It's down 525 right now. That was down seven bucks in about a heartbeat. Amazon, same setup in the Amazon, down fast, furious. You're down 77 bucks. That was down 100 bucks. You know, in Amazon's case, this has been consolidating anyway. It didn't get to um, higher highs. In fact, when you take a look at Amazon, we have four lower highs, and we only have one lower low. So... That's not, you know, well, you can, my take is that we're going to, going to go after that low, but that is a downtrend. That's how that thing shakes out. Apple, Apple cracked slightly. Apple down 348. You get 106 million shares off the high. Now, that's not a huge amount of shares off the high for Apple. Um, different ball game, and you can see how they're, they're setting up differently. Google, we take a look at Google. Yeah, Google's not a lot of shares off the high either. 23, they're down 23 bucks, not, not a big number. Gold, gold contract wants to go to its all-time highs, folks. We have out here with gold, you get wide price spread, you get the accelerated volume, 256,000 contracts. So it's going to be interesting to see how this whole thing shakes up. There's no doubt that we've dug into the November 9th downdraft. That downdraft was vicious. That's when we went from 1973 down to... 18.54 in one day. Bottom line, getting into it right now. Silver, silver wants to get up into the $30 area. That's where silver is laying out right now. Silver is uh, up a buck. 
Uh, what was intriguing out here is that we did hold. So the metals, well, outside here. So check this out, platinum. Man, this is pretty intense, PL1. They whacked platinum. <laughs> and normally, they leave this for gold, folks. Uh, let me get this up. So here's the active contract. I think we're on April. Yeah, we're on April. And this was quite a move, man. So platinum got all the way up to 1142 today, and it's at 1077. That is one move. 25,000 contracts out here. Let me pull this up. It's good contract volume, though. When you get, when you get contract volume, now it's intriguing about platinum. When you get contract volume like that, folks, what happens is that you go right back topside again. Uh, so this is going to be interesting watching the whole platinum market shake out uh, as to uh, what it actually is going to do. But that, that's how that normally works out. And notes, well, hey, let's go to the dollar because the dollar has been grinding its way back all day long. So the dollar rejected lower price today at 89.423. Really hasn't caught a bid yet, but the bottom line, you did reject lower price once again. We'll see uh, how that's going to shake out. Uh, the euro. Okay, so the euro rejected higher price. It's still higher, but re basically rejected it. The pound, the British pound, were at 135. Same deal. That came off the high. That came off the high pretty intensely, actually. And the yen. We go over to the yen, and the yen is at 103.14. Oh, look at that. That broke through its bottoms, but it did reject price. We rejected lower price, but that, that broke out its bottom, man. That's, that yen is looking that it still wants to get a lot stronger, and a stronger yen, folks, uh, basically puts the gold market at much higher prices. That's how that baby uh, does shake out. XAU, HUI, they both caught a bid. Gold equities caught the bid. Silver equities caught the bid. Uh, oh, <laughs> can't forget uh, Bitcoin. You talk, you talk about movement, folks. This is like insanity. Uh, Bitcoin, let's see. XBT from highs to lows out here. We got up to a price point of 33,600 to a low of 28,000 and now we're at 31,500. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.